Actually hit him. Because <laughs> I, I want to be on top of his glove, so he's going to start, he, so I can kind of bait him into playing this game with me. He's going to try to outdo me, right? right? I'm not really oh. worried about that. I'm not really worried about that, Jeff. I just want to open that up. Right? It doesn't matter if we're both southpaw, so this would be very similar to if you're both regular. Um, and it doesn't matter if he's if he's uh, regular too. I, I play this game all the time. I get him to jab here. I get him to especially because if I th make him think that I'm getting scared of him. One of the best ways to do this, like even even if he just I just get him opening up a little bit. Boom is the is the land it there. Um, the two ways the two places that I want to land. There's actually there's three. I'll go over another one that I didn't go over before. So is one <clears throat> I can I can find this floating rib right here. And I'm aiming for that because that's not attached to the rib cage. The rest of these up here are. You're still gonna, you can still very much break those. But if I hit this floater right here, that one can break really easy. Place I'll aim is up and into the armpit. I, there's a lot of like nerves up here and that doesn't feel great and it jams up the shoulder. It like starts jarring that up. He's not gonna wanna put that, he's not gonna wanna put that jab out there that much anymore. <laughs> He's gonna be nervous about that. It's jarring, jarring and jamming up that shoulder. It be brave. And all that up. So those are the two. So the best, the best case scenario is if I can catch him loading up, which is why I'm always telling you guys about not pulling your elbows back. If he and loads up, I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna wait for him. There's a moment where he gets flat, totally flat, because he's turning that over. Lean, boom, and I'm gonna hit right into the diaphragm. If I catch him doing that, he's done. That's that's the end of it. He won't. A lot of these, a lot of these can be to be a fight in there. But if I catch that timing, he starts to load back, right into the center, right up into the diaphragm, and I'm aiming with that heel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude. Okay. So. Drive it back to the collar. <laughs> so it comes. Trace around here and bring the blade of our hand down right onto his neck. We're not sure exactly what situation is gigi is going to be in but it really doesn't matter it can be the lapel it can be the top of the uh, ridge here just come here and come in hard right on his neck and grab whatever cloth is available and then we're just going to go ahead put our head down and we're going to row our elbows back behind us nice and tight okay so, you're going to limit how deep you can grip, open it up, drive it all the way to the back, and then kind of give them a little pull. Come around here, and it slams right on his neck. I get whatever fabric is available, and then I row in. Let's make a try. Ready? One, two, three. Right as you stop. Oh, yeah. Pornhub, that's where it's going. Just check it out. <laughs> I have a live streaming channel. Not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Stand 
in place. Walk them kind of behind your hips. Eric, you might lose. You might lose the flexibility game. Yeah. Oh. It's my excuse. I just, that's okay. <laughs> Lock that out. Good job. Good job. Just chambering. I'm not throwing the kick yet or anything. Just come in here, boom. Boom. And notice that my toes will be pointed that way. It's done. We're going to do that, that down the line. Here. Down. Down. And I'm just chambering each time on one leg. You're going to get down there. All the way down the other side, we're going to walk over to the other side. Everybody else will just form two lines. Just follow each other in, and we'll do the other leg. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We don't have a couple two here. You were doing this earlier. Wow, Derek, you're really good at this random. <laughs> It's like you were in the entire other video, star of the show, which is nine minutes of you side kicking. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You are. Yeah, you are. You're in socks. Some people. One of these fighters is not like the other. And the games. What's up, man? Get it, get it. Got two legs, bro. Some people, some people are very unfortunate. And they don't. <laughs> That's when jokes get dark. Other side, other side, other side. This is some Brandon shit. He'd be doing this. Check me out. <laughs> it's called multitasking. <laughs> Juan, I appreciate you do it better. Hold it up and do it. I don't even know if I <laughs> Get can. Get a little bit. A yeah. little bit. It's everything you want in life, Brandon. It was a film. Don't break the camera. Don't break the, don't break the yeah, camera. Yeah, you might want to. Give me that back. back. Give me you that. God, no. It's fucking hitting it. All right, twice through each leg, okay? You both sides. So I have to extend, and I'm almost like facing the other direction. So I don't want to just go like this. Here. Not enough. I want to engage the, the posterior chain by driving through that and really get in. One more. So you got 10 each side. So your lead side, that'll be your lead side. And when we want to do the back side, I'm going to swing this far in the middle. <laughs> I love that one. Straight up here. And driving through. So <clears throat> once you start to get it down, I want to make sure that we have that upward arc with, with, the, uh, with the kick. See how it kind of pushes him up and uproots him? That's really what I want too. Because if I drive his kind of weight out of the ground, it lifts him a little bit. And if I want to follow up with something, then he'll arc. <laughs> Scary. Um, the back one and the front one. We'll start with the front one. I didn't know what you were doing earlier. So, something about the jab that I know some of you don't quite know yet is that, like, if we're if we're playing the jab game back and forth, you're gonna see people doing this and touching over the top of the other guy's glove. 
right? And there's a reason that it's like it's like that game where you go higher and higher. You want to like you want to beat them on top of that glove because at any point, if I'm beating them on top, I can I can pop that down.